Alright, what's up y'all? It's Maritime64 and welcome to Back to the Basics where we discuss you know, a couple of things that we can get better on in World of Warcraft. Now this applies to a lot of mid-tier to low-tier players. So they're pretty much casual tryhards to noobs and anything in the middle to make us just a little bit better when we pug or in our guild groups and PvP, PvE and just general content areas. Now, today's discussion will be about interrupting my biggest pet peeve. Let's get into what an interrupt actually is. So interrupt can be simply put as an ability that prevents spell casting for a certain amount of time. Or, if it's more simple than that, it prevents a spell from being cast. So who has interrupts? Tanks? DPS? Some healers? Almost everyone has an, uh, has an interrupt that can be used. The most reliable ones are the ones with the lowest cooldowns. So mostly melee and tanks have the most reliable uh, interrupts while ranged DPS have probably the least two non-existent interrupts and healers probably don't have an interrupt so in, in general case just expect your melee DPS and tanks to have an interrupt ready to go and some of your range have one ready to go. Now who uh, what you should be interrupting is anything with a yellow bar okay that's just plain and simple that when you say UI is something right under or over your whatever the fuck it is or you see the enemy's cast being uh, enemy cast bar you'll see it either as yellow or either as red with like a little shield around it. If you have a shield around it, you can't pre prevent it. If it's red, you can't prevent it. Or it's already been cast. And if it's yellow, you can prevent it. So go ahead and give it a try. Not all yellow ones can be, pre be prevented. Let me say that. But a few dashes are 9% of the yellow ones can be prevented and 0% of the red ones can be prevented. However, there's other things we can do to deal with those abilities and that's another video. Alright, so now that we've done uh, with the simplicities of that, let's really dig into what what we're actually trying to interrupt. Now, in most cases, you're trying to interrupt a boss ability that's really gnarly or damn near essential to be interrupted, a heal or a strong damage ability that you don't want going out, or in general, even less than that, an ability you don't want to be dealing with or you want your tank to or healers to be dealing with at all times. So, what is a boss mechanic? You so what do you mean by boss mechanics? It's, it's simple. You know in the journal, go to the journal, you open it up and it says, interrupt this or die. Those are boss mechanics you want to interrupt. A big, big one that I, that I will never forget is one by Maiden of Virtue in Karazhan. You know, you go fight her, fight her, have a good old time, she pops that shield, does buttload of damage, and get rid of the shield. If you don't hit the interrupt button as quick as possible, everyone's dead. Essentially, it's a one-shot mechanic and it's brutal. So, if we're not interrupting that, that may help you get through Karazhan. Okay, you need big damage and a quick interrupt. Now, after that, after you get through that, or you're not in boss to deal with, you know what else you should be, you know, you should be getting ready to click. Those big hills, those small hills, those any hills, and those big damage abilities. Now, I know a lot of boss fights do have big damage abilities. You want to interrupt, like, in the, in the hell you fight, you want to get rid of Torrent. It's a huge AOE ability that does probably 50% of your team's damage on average, depending on what level it is in your gear. But roughly, it does, does a good, decent bit of damage. You want to get rid of that, so your healer won't have to stress heal everyone and be, you know, <laughs> and just not having a good time in general. Okay, so. And healing. Any healing. Just healing. This is a huge PvP thing as well. You see a healer, interrupt them. See a heal being, being popped up, interrupt them. Also, uh, other mechanics you want to think about is fears, sleeps, sheeps, stuns, things like that. Anything that you can, can interrupt that, that causes a loss of control, you also, you also want to interrupt. Be ready for those. Now, mostly a lot of mobs have those abilities, and I've really seen, really seen a, a few uh, boss encounters that have them. So, you should always be aware of them, and I'd be ready to interrupt those. And last but not least, just trash abilities, okay? You know, someone's casting a, a Shadow Bolt or Fireball, whatever. That's extra damage going to your tank, this extra healing here. Here, here let's do it, deal with it. So, you can just interrupt it, and that's, you know, that goes, goes for physical damage. Less things to worry about. Side note, you can be creative with your interrupt and use it for, for positioning and grouping. You know, some, sometimes your tanks has to deal with, you know, uh, ranged DPS to where they're not going to move unless you interrupt them. Do a quick interrupt, they'll move straight towards the group, and you're, everyone will have a good time cleaving and murdering everything with their AoE. And making their DPS meters look mucho bueno. Now, let's talk about interrupt order. Uh, like I said earlier, 
tanks and melee DPS typically have the shorter cooldowns for the interrupt, so they usually want to get priority for interrupting things. So you may want to go tanks, melee DPS, range DPS, and then maybe healers who have interrupts, or I like I go because I like <laughs> I like hitting my interrupt as much as possible because I love the interrupt. I go melee DPS, me tank, uh, other DPS, healers. You know, it's very simple. And very clean, and you also want to try to pass that interrupts as soon as as soon as you know the, what the pull is or what's going on. Get ready to get everyone ready to get ready to get get ready to get ready. Yeah, seriously, get ready to get everyone ready to interrupt so you can have you know a decent bit bit of time. Now, this is gonna be a little thing I'm gonna add on to. How do you deal with you know interrupting in the, in pug groups? And uh, honestly, you interrupt as much as you can. You know, you can't really control the other person across the universe across. The server across whatever how you want to put it you can't control them but you can control how you play if you're interrupting you're doing a good thing you're doing what you're supposed to be doing it makes the fight a little bit easier sometimes people will follow suit you know sometimes they'll notice hey this person's interrupting let me do it too but also if you're not interrupting you're going to make it a little tougher on everyone else so that's something you can think about when you're uh in a pug groups and guild groups whatever interrupting and how to get better now if you're a new person you're like maritime 64 how do i get used to interrupting hit the button I'd rather you hit the button and fail than you hit not hit the button at all, because you're getting used to hit uh, practicing looking for those you no know, markers, those yellow abilities. You can't interrupt those big mechanics. You can't interrupt, and uh, that's it. So that's the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and uh, let me know anything I should I've, I missed or I should have uh, expanded on or something I totally uh, missed completely, like fell upon, just just like flubbed. All right, I'm Bird Time 64. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.